Hi my crafty friends, this is Gina Lovato here, again with the crafty idea. I have some embellishments that I've made with my Easter scraps here. And I had put a little B with a little wire wrappy. Thank you V, buzzing with V for showing us how to do this. And I added a little charm to this little one. And a little envelope with a little note it says with love and they can scribble something on there and yeah I had made these and I did a video on this and now I want to package them and have them ready for you know like if I'm doing a challenge or anything like that so I had some acetate and I said well I'll go ahead and make me some acetate envelopes for whoever I'm giving them away to so this is the acetate one that I made already and I used a little velcro dot for the back and I put it the other way around so when the uh, person whoever receives this can see from the beginning in the front of the envelope what they get and yeah this was pretty cool and um, I thought well why don't I use some of my acetate that one says enjoy and I just did a little ink stamp there on these little notes. And I just used, like I said, my Easter card scraps and made these little embellishments. And yeah, I thought it was pretty easy. Thought it was cute. Yeah. So what I did here was cut out an acetate at six and seven eighths by six and seven eighths and here they'll tell me on this envelope punch to score it at three and a half now I don't know if about these on acetate when I punched it it punched him but I don't know you know it was kind of scary. Let me see. I can't see. What is that? Yeah, three and a half. So you're going to just go ahead and punch. See, it's kind of hard. And you're scoring. And of course, you all know follow the line, punch, and score. It's a little hard because the acetate. And I think I ought to be doing this. <laughs> uh, and go to the line. Punch. And score. And to the line. Punch. And score. And there you have your envelope. Little doodads. And I'm rounding out my corners because it is kind of sharp. Being that it is acetate. And whoever receives these, you don't want them to cut themselves. When they go to open. Let me get this stuff out of the way. And what I'm doing here, go ahead and I the first one I used my bone folder and it's you can oh man I wanted to that's backwards. Sorry. I didn't realize that on the first one either. Did I? Yeah, I did that one perfect. Now you want this on the other side. Not this side, because you want this on the outside. And get this. Kind of slippery to work with. And you can see where you made your score line, so. I'm working with acetate. 
You don't want it to open like this, yeah. Man, it's been raining out here in East Texas, y'all. My roses are looking beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Now, what I do here on this next step, let's see how do I do that on this one. Yeah. I just want to heat. I'm going to use my heating tool here. It's my wood burning tool. But you got to be quick because you don't want to get this stuck. You know what I mean? And you don't want to destroy your surface either. So. Because this thing is hot. And I just want to heat it down. I go fast and just press down. And then make sure that this part, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't want that. <clears throat> I find it that this looks better than using the yeah <coughs> excuse me then using the hot glue because the hot glue is kind of messy let me heat this just a little bit on this i see that i go real fast because i don't want to burn the acetate and get this tacked down because I don't want that thing flying off and burning me. No. You gotta be careful with them kind of tools. Yeah. That looks a whole lot better. I could go a little bit more. Because it's still opening here for me. I don't like that. Yeah. Okay. That looks a lot better. Yeah. And this guy didn't stick at all. <laughs> I mean, like, I go fast. I gotta work fast on this project. You know what I mean, girls? Ladies and gentlemen. Because I do have some men looking at this videos here. There you go. See, I didn't get too bad. Hey. And you just get your little, um, your, um, what are these called? Your little, uh, fastener dots. Velcro fastener dots. Yeah. And that's the bottom. And you just tap it there. And you don't want to fold this top part of the envelope. You want to do that last because it gets in your way. See what I mean? You don't want it in your way. And there you go, y'all. You just put your little project share. What I'll probably end up doing is put wrap these up in tissue in the color of the acetate. So the recipient recipient gets these. Oh, this bead's big, y'all. I guess it's not gonna go like that. I don't want to mess up my little flag here. So I'll just leave it like that. And put them like that. How cute is that, y'all? Oh, look at my little flower. Look at the flower. It is, they are tight. I 
I should have made it bigger, huh? It doesn't matter because the flower needs to get, you know, Andale. Ay, cabrone. No hace desmadres conmigo. Okay, that's me cussing in Spanish. <laughs> Ay. There you go, y'all. Isn't this cute? I think they turned out cute. And being that I made four out of the scrap, out of the scrap um, Easter card making I did. So, I got some more I'm going to make because I, I just wanted to try this. I put the embellishment on the embellishment. Como se llama el este beaded charm on this side because of the truck. I didn't want to punch out the truck. I don't know. Because if they want to just use this, they can use it. And, I, yeah. What do you think, y'all? Yay! <laughs> So that's my sharing for today, y'all. And uh, I got a good thing going on tomorrow. I'm working on it. Be that it's raining. And if it's not raining, <laughs> I'll make my video early in the morning because of the fact that I need to get out and finish my, my flower beds. Because I have a lot of flower beds that I want to get finished, cleaned out, and add to. And the other day I went to my little lady, Miss Sanchez, nursery. And they have it closed. I think that's a necessity because we need to, since we're homebound, we need to do something. Don't you all think? Hey, I said, man, I need to get them palm trees to go around by my pool. Kind of. They're fan palm trees. Them are the ones that I'm looking for and I want them. But she's not open. They closed everything here in East Texas and Mineola. Anyways, y'all have a good day and be kind to one another, okay? Bye now. Here's the video.